get the battery in place real nice and neat. I'm, I plan on getting that done as well in the battery box in case this thing ever goes bad. It won't like explode hot acid all over me while I'm driving down the road. And uh, then I won't be able to sell any YouTube views because I'll be too ugly. No, that's a lie. You guys will still watch because you're not here for my looks. And you know, in dash navigation, you know, look like a Tesla system I'm going to put in here. You know what I mean? We got to show them how it's done. Although no one will be able to see it except for uh, semi truck drivers because this thing's too tall. But you know, it's there if they ever look. Along with just lap belts, right? You know, this truck's not even required to have seat belts. Hey everyone, Rusty here. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some uh, minor work on the C10 this uh, weekend, I think. And I've already done some things off camera, like uh, we went ahead and spray painted those bu bumper silver. Ignore the overspray. And I'll show you the back one. Might have to move the truck into the shade a little more. Um, now in other news, I'm working on the windows figured out just how I need to run the wiring and I need to like ground off of one of these bolts here um, and both these wires take power one's up and one's down right so what I did was I created this bad boy monstrosity hooked it to this maintained the opening hopefully this is the right size you know kind of double din size so that I can get a uh, you know we need to in dash deep GPS Bluetooth audio freaking sound system right Hopefully this will pick it up. This is what it looks like on the back end. Bunch of wiring. But long story short, um, I need to put the battery in kind of a good spot, but I'm gonna run the wire longer than it needs to be. Uh, more wires going up here. You, see, you can see I got a fuse, I tested that out. And then these are gonna be the window switches. These aren't momentary switches. I wish I could have found them, you know, at the auto parts, but, I'll, but they did have a you know three position switch you know power one way at the top power the other way at the bottom and then a neutral that's a no power and uh, when you fire this thing up of course it shows voltage has some usb ports has your regular cigarette you know adapter port which you can't even carry the load so that ain't going to be what it's for ever and so we got that hooked in there Later on, I'll go back to making my console, right? So, I'll bring you back. Um, hopefully, uh, to, to test the windows up and down, that'll be fun. They move kind of fast if we got a good connection. So that's what we're gonna be going for. I'll show you what I got. I've done this sort of thing before. So I need three wires going to each um, door two positive and one ground and what has three wires built into it already that's right an extension cord 14.3 right that should be able to carry the load so we're just going to cut the ends off um, i'll leave a little extra in case i want to make an extension cord and then i'm going to use this wire so i'll just run one big insulated wire through the, each door and then i'll have what i need anyways that's what we're going to do getting after it now I'm gonna call it a day for today, but I did manage to roll the windows up with the jumper cables one more time. Um, and what we got, of course, is we got that wire pulled through. We didn't hook it up to the switches yet, but I did get the battery box in and all the cables. You know, I'm gonna make a console here, so don't worry about these cables right here. And I powered this uh, baby, got a fuse, don't worry and uh, you can see sitting there powered up grounded it to the body i'm gonna ground the other i'm gonna put another ground through here to uh, run both window um motors and i'm gonna go ahead and put the ground right here on this bolt you know one of these three wires is going to go to that and the other two are going to the up and down so that's my plan um, I'm gonna get that going tomorrow most likely 
but for today I'm gonna call that it for this video um, not a whole lot going on uh, just making small improvements over time with the C10 now that it's drivable and I think tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and get these windows working hopefully with the switches with no issues that'd be nice and then I'm going to at long last adjust the uh, valves again for their final adjustment uh, I think everything is as pumped up as it's gonna be and the motor is uh, you know as alive as it's gonna be so we can go ahead and get that adjustment you know like a quarter uh, past um, you know where the lifter is tapping so that's usually a, a best your best bet I think with these uh, small block 350 anyways thanks for watching like and subscribe and we're gonna keep uh, moving forward on this um, I'm also gonna try to fix that light for that speedometer it doesn't work but it just had a bad ground so while I'm messing with grounds here and there I can patch that in as well if I have to would just put some wire around it or something anyways that's it for now hey I've got this um, thing all dummied up with the wiring ground you know positive positive and here's the uh, back end of that panel and then we've done the same thing on the other side so let me get a camera angle for you we'll do that um, driver side door first oh. we'll do that driver side door first so you can see the panel this turns on the power to the panel that way and it's all fused and then here is up on the window and then down on the window Oops. need a momentary switch but they didn't have any and then we'll do the same thing on this side now this window goes down plenty fast but it goes up pretty slow um, of course the wiring stopped working so there's something wrong with this motor here you gotta tickle it a little bit there we go. so that one's gonna have to be replaced but see it goes up real slow probably shouldn't use it that much unless I have to you know what I mean because it's gonna get stuck down and then I won't have it right it's also possible that if I use it more it'll get better there it is it stopped again so something's out of whack in there there we go yeah whenever it takes a load it seems to mess up anyways I'm gonna shove these wires back in and then put up all my tools and then go for a test drive um, thanks for watching uh, I'm gonna put this back in the panel uh, but you've seen how that looked before so uh, yeah that's gonna be it for this one we're moving along with this uh, build and uh, things are uh, looking better and better start trusting this thing on longer cruises I guess and see where it goes from there